Um, hello, is this thing on? <laughs> Hi guys, grab a blanket, grab a snack, grab something to drink. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, I'm Alex. I'm, I'm a bodybuilder. Who are you? How did you find me? How did you get in my house? Take your pants off. Just kidding. Get comfortable. Honestly, I am curious though. How did you find me? Let me know in the comments below if the YouTube algorithm brought us together organically or if you heard me yapping about this on one of my other socials. Um, apologies in advance if there's some background noise. My furnace is broken, so I have a little space heater, hence the blankie. Ice coffee till I perish though. Lately, I've been stuck on hazelnut buff coffee with a half scoop of fudge brownie buff whey because I need a little bit more than 18 grams of protein. Oh, it's so good. This is, however, my last scoop of hazelnut. Anyway, oh my God, I'm just stalling for time. Welcome to the prep series. The title honestly took very little thought, effort, or energy to come up with um, because that is the theme of this contest prep. So I thought I would take you through my contest prep history, um, tell you a little bit about how I got into bodybuilding and tell you what exactly this one means to me. So many moons ago, I was a wee power lifter. I power lifted for three or four years. And here's the story. In 2018, I did my last ever powerlifting meet. I qualified in the spring for nationals and nationals was here in my home state of Washington in Spokane. Nationals was in the middle of October and I was going to get married to my now ex-husband at the end of October. So naturally I prioritized the wedding and decided to forego competing in nationals. I did a little shredding for the wedding thing. We got married, it was lovely. And then after the wedding, I just kind of felt like I was spinning my wheels. I didn't know what to do with myself. I didn't have a goal. I didn't have a plan. And he mentioned that he wanted to do a bodybuilding show. So within 20 minutes, I had a coach for us and a show picked out and we were off to the races. This is how I showed up to my first show. I did the Cascadian Classic in Bend, Oregon in 2019. Um, that was a difficult prep because I was working full time. I had a 45 minute commute and we were working on opening up our gym. The gym opened up, I don't know, three weeks out from the first show. I remember showing up to the gym at 4 a.m. to open up for our members because we didn't even have like a key tag system installed yet. And so I would open the gym, I would do my fasted cardio, I would literally nap on the floor behind the front desk until it was time for me to get ready to go to work. I'd commute out to work, put in my time, come back to the gym, work out. We had like half assembled equipment and a couple of cardio machines and we were just surviving on a wing and a prayer. It was a bad prep. It was a really, really bad prep. I was not prepared for everything that bodybuilding would take. I was binging every weekend. I was trying to make up for it by doing extra cardio. I was so stressed trying to open and manage this baby business and also like keep things afloat on my single income. Competed. One first place, it was fine, rebounded horribly. Yeah, yeah, that was two weeks post-show. Yikes, yikes. It took me a really long time to get back in tune with my body and my satiety cues. And at the beginning of 2020, I tried to prep again. And before, we all know what happened in 2020, before all that went down, I pulled out of my prep because I realized that I wasn't ready yet. I had more work to do to make sure that I was mentally and emotionally prepared to be hungry and be in tune with my body and all of that. Fast forward to the beginning of 2021 and I'm ready to compete again. I'm ready to go all in and I do. I that During that prep, I really started challenging my inherent limiting beliefs. I asked myself, what if I succeed? What if I did everything. What if I started stacking up perfect days? And I stacked up a lot of perfect days. The first show that I competed in that year was the Emerald Cup in Bellevue, Washington. I won first place in my class and missed the overall. I was cold, I was in a bad mood, and my posing was super whack. I had another show lined up for two weeks later, so I hired a posing coach, got it together, and won my first overall at the 2021 Empire Classic. Time for a wee coffee break. From there, I knew that I had really found my home in bodybuilding, though. I reversed perfectly. I was very excited, and with a national qualification, I knew that I eventually wanted to get to a national stage and try for a pro card. At this point, I'm still married, mind you, so we begin a prep for nationals in December of 2021, but in September, of 2021, my ex-husband's mother passed. So obviously bodybuilding went on the back burner. So I reversed out of that prep, which was pretty quick and easy. And then my coach at the time and I decided that it was time for me to do a real true bulk. 
So for most of 2022, up until June, June or so, I did my first true bulk where I was eating in a pretty hefty calorie surplus. Then began my prep for the 2022 season and my first pro qualifier. Let me lay out for you what life looked like at this point in time. I'm still working a full-time job with a 45 minute one-way commute. The gym is up and running, but I'm doing all of the administrative work. We've got one of my ex's two kids with us full-time and the other with us part-time and a struggling marriage. At this point, we were in marriage counseling. We were dissecting things that were wrong in the, in the relationship and in the way that things went because not only was I managing the business, I was also running home like it was a business. Um, as far as financials, food planning, budgeting, grocery shopping, like all of the mental load of everything, when are dishes and laundry getting done, who are tasks getting assigned to, like I'm delegating tasks, like I'm a manager, um, and, and all of that fell on my shoulders. So in the summer of 2022, I begin a prep with all of these crazy life circumstances going on. And also I'm like on the rise in my influencing journey. Like my TikTok channel is taking off, my Instagram is growing, I'm getting recognition um, from brands and getting sponsorship and affiliate opportunities. And so there's one more task in my ever growing realm of responsibilities. Yeah, that's a lot. It was a lot. Content creating at that point in time was just so much fun for me because it was more like a hobby and an outlet. I was treating bodybuilding and, um, you know, cardio and food very much like I was treating all of the other business tasks in my life. By this point, they had, like, everything had just become an ingrained habit. So it wasn't taking a lot of my, like, mental energy. And so content creating was a creative outlet for me. It was kind of almost like a little bit of an escape of the trappings of, you know, what my day-to-day -day life looked like. So prep goes great. I put on a ton of muscle through my bulk and I do a warm-up show and re-qualify at Night of Champions in Spokane, Washington in the fall of 2022. Ta-da! Looked so great, like crazy. And when I saw the stage photos, that's when I knew I no longer belong on a regional stage. It is, it is time for me to compete with the big dogs. I won an overall again and tried my hand at the women's physique division. Few differences between women's figure and women's physique, but that's for another video maybe. And then we start preparing for the 2022 Olympia Amateur. The reason I chose the Olympia Amateur as a pro qualifier rather than something bigger like nationals is because I wanted and still want the challenge of competing at a show where there are fewer pro cards because I know that when when I win a pro card, I wanna walk out on that stage and have the judges look at me and say, yes, she is ready for the IFBB Pro League. I don't want to win a second place by default pro card. That's just my ego. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get my ego under control. So competition day comes. It is behind the scenes, a little bit of a mess. My husband is grumpy. He's making a mess. He's in the way I feel like I'm mothering him because I'm prepping his food, I'm measuring it for him, I'm cleaning up after him. I compete the day before he does, so I competed, it went fine. I didn't get last place in either of my divisions. Although I know that between stress and a bad peaking protocol that it was not my best package. Here's what I looked like two days out versus the melted ice cream cone look we brought to stage, yeah. I was very disappointed, still am disappointed. So when I say this one's for me, I need redemption, baby. We're gonna fast forward again. There's a whole lot of drama. I finally filed for divorce July 29th of 2023. We've had it up to here. Get through the divorce. It starts out very amicable. The plan is to continue owning and operating the gym facility together. Upon illumination of more information, I decide to go no contact completely. Um, <laughs> did I mention that two weeks before I filed for divorce, I hired a new coach who also took my ex-husband because at the time he was not my ex-husband? Yeah, that's messy. <laughs> at any rate, so I'm under the direction of a new coach. I've got all of this insane life stress, getting my gut and hormone health under control because it is not good. And um, just work on building through the fall and the winter. 
At the end of December, coach says it's go time and we start prepping. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've already been prepping for a while, even though I'm just now debuting this series on YouTube. Um, partially because there's just not that much to document at the beginning of a contest prep. There aren't that many changes and it's just a matter of putting in the work day in and day out, finding the systems and routines that are going to work for life circumstances. And things right now are different than they have literally ever been. I am now a full-time online coach and I am an influencer. I'm an influencer. <laughs> um, I get to work with some really amazing companies like Buff Chick Supplements. Um, I just signed with Hummus Fit for meal prep. I, I've been with Paragon as an affiliate for several years now. Um, and they're all companies that I use, love, enjoy, fully endorse, like align with my morals and values. I absolutely love the companies that I get to work with. So at any rate, that is a portion of my job in addition to coaching. <laughs> This one's for me, baby. This one is all about redemption. I get redemption from a bad show experience. I get to be under completely different life circumstances now where I am not tied down to a brick and mortar business that quite frankly, I never really had an interest in being part of anyway. I get to be selfish with my time, energy, and financial resources. And I get to invest in myself fully and completely for the first time, literally ever. Let's dive into this week's check-in. So here's some footage of my front quarter turns. My current stats, for the record, I'm five foot two, although I know that sometimes I appear larger on the internet. I am, 152.2 pounds as of yesterday morning. I started, my peak bulk was 168 pounds, which feels like a lot on my short frame. My gut health is quite literally the best it's ever been. My hormone health is the best that it's ever been. I have PCOS and I am honestly more regular than I have ever been in my entire life. I am finally noticing, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the beginning of prep versus this week. So I can see that I have more leg, more lat, and just altogether a more filled out frame as far as muscle size and density. I'm really excited to see the back, back fat reduction. Um, you can really start to see my erectors coming through and the difference between my rhomboids and my rear delts and my traps. Currently sitting at 14 and a half weeks out at the time of this recording from Junior Nationals. So the plan right now is to hopefully just be one and done this season, obviously. I would like to show up and sweep the show. Who wouldn't, quite frankly, honestly. If things do not go that way, then it is early enough in the season that I could push for something like USA's, um, which is a bigger show. There is an opportunity for a second place pro card there, but um, it gives me enough time between shows to make improvements because I don't think that size is going to be an issue. Um, it could be something silly like a posing mistake because I am prone to stage fright. It could be something like a little bit more body fat to lose or it could just be a missed peak, but that'll give me time where it, uh, like at the Amateur Olympia, there was no, there were no shows after that that I could fix a mistake like that. Whereas, this one is early enough that I could, I could turn things around. I don't know what else to tell you besides I am stacking up perfect days. Some differences between this prep and previous preps are that I no longer manage my own training protocol. I've always done my own programming for powerlifting and for bodybuilding. And for the first time ever, I have handed over the reins. I have strictly been following what David, David is my coach, by the way, of Demasquita Nutrition. For the first time ever, I've handed over the reins in my training protocol. I simply do and execute what has been assigned to me. For the first time ever, I also macro track semi-frequently. Um, by semi-frequently, I mean like maybe twice a week. I've always been a meal plan girly from the jump. I do think that that's part of the reason that my first prep was so difficult because I went from barely managing nutrition to here's your meal plan. 
don't deviate. I have learned how to adjust to being on a meal plan and now I'm at the point where I enjoy not having the mental load of figuring out what to eat, when to eat, how much to eat. But there are some days where uh, maybe I would like to honor a craving or now that I'm working with Hummus Fit, I like to work in a little spiced chicken fold. Ugh. Ugh. So good and it's only like four grams of fat. Or buff and muffin pre or post workout. I literally don't know how they get those macros in there. What on earth? What? what the magic is. At any rate, I've been macro tracking and it has been going great. It's funny because on my check-ins, I have a little questionnaire and it asks for a meal, like nutrition protocol adherence. And I always rate myself a nine when I macro track because I feel like I'm doing something wrong, even though like I hit my macros. Ah! I don't know, it just feels wrong. It feels like I'm doing something naughty. And overall, just my sleep quality has improved. My quality of life has improved. Everything is so improved. My mood day to day is better. I am just really excited. I've literally never said this in my life, but I have a good feeling about this year. I didn't want to get too messy on the internet about my divorce, but trust me that it was ugly. There's a reason I'm no contact and I hope that illustrates how this one is for me, I'm um, coming back from a back injury, coming off of a very traumatic divorce. Uh, my life circumstances are completely different and I'm just really, 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 really hyped. So I'm curious, I'm a curious kitten. I would like to know what parts of prep you would like to see aside from just check-ins. Would you like to see training? Would you like to see full days of eating? Do you want to just see a vlog of what a day in the life looks like for somebody with as much privilege as I have? Because like it or not, I will never not acknowledge the fact that having this much time on my hands, having the freedom to dictate what my day-to-day -day looks like is a privilege. And I think that because my life was situated the way that it was before, that is why I'm aware that I'm in a super privileged position right now. Do you just want to see the boring day to day? The possibilities are endless. Frequently asked questions. Is the red hair going to stay for stage? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Will I still be wearing a red bikini? Yes. Yes, I will be. Red is my power color. I feel good in it. I feel very good. And I feel like, um, you know, red hair and a red bikini is kind of a sleigh. Will I be drinking buff coffee the whole prep? Yes, I will be. Will I be moving in the spring of 2025? Yes, I will be. Yes, I will. Will I be buying out Trader Joe's of all of their salted almond butter? Yes, I will. Yes, I shall. I must. What other frequently asked questions are there? What is my favorite color? Thanks for asking. It's green. I love green. Anyway, be sure to follow along for more updates on how prep is going because TikTok likes to suppress those videos. So I'm afraid long form content from here on out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Work that run that ninny ninny. We call this B roll, us in the industry.